Malcolm Nance uh, was talking about this over the weekend. Uh, he said, uh, and he pointed out that, that uh, President Putin of Russia gave a speech in which he said liberal democracy is dying and uh, is obsolete, I think is the word he used. And uh, by liberal democracy, he's not talking about Bernie Sanders. He's not talking about liberals. He's talking about what, what the framers of the Constitution created in Philadelphia in the summer of 1787. That was what he was talking about. The United States of America, we're a liberal democracy. The European countries that are members of the European Union, liberal democracies, the UK, if, if they split from the EU, liberal democracy, Australia, liberal democracy, and uh, basically suggesting that liberal democracies are toast and can and should be replaced by largely autocratic governments, governments that, that meet the definition of a merger of state and corporate interests or state and billionaire interests along with belligerent nationalism. And, and Donald Trump agreed with that. And uh, this is what Malcolm Nance said. He said, there's the United States of America and then there's Donald Trump, and Donald Trump is a wannabe autocrat. Uh, the United States has now an official policy of Donald Trump's government uh, has abandoned liberal democracy, which was formed in the building right behind me at Independence Hall in Philadelphia. Trump does not believe it. To say that it's the end of multiculturalism is to say it's the end of the United States of America. Uh, this is, you know, this American democracy that Donald Trump says he, he wants to destroy. And he's come out and said it now. I mean, essentially, you know, yeah, you know, Putin was right about liberal democracy. Now, you know, I think most people, the media is treating it like, oh, Trump doesn't know the difference between liberal democracy, as you learn in civics, and liberals, right? And that may be true. But frankly, if you look at his actions, he doesn't believe in liberal democracy as the founders came up with either. And these are serious threats. I mean, we've had a liberal democracy for 244 years, and Donald Trump wants to destroy that. And in the meantime, he's sucking up to all these dictators. He's, you know, Tucker Carlson came up, hey, this is the latest, this bizarre new, uh, new, uh, uh, I, 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 I don't even know the word, um, excuse, I guess, for Donald Trump doing a photo op with Kim Jong-un in, uh, in North Korea instead of, instead of actually any kind of policy. Uh, this is what Tucker Carlson said. He said, you know, you got to be honest about what it means to lead a country. It means killing people. Really? I, you know, m m is he talking about the death penalty? No, I don't. He says, not on the scale that the North Koreans do, but a lot of countries commit atrocities, including a number that we're closely allied with. Well, yeah, that's true of Saudi Arabia. I'm with you. Um, you've got apartheid governments that, we're, that, we, that we support. You've got, uh, you know, violent dictatorships that we support. But instead of saying, yeah, we do that, and therefore we should suck up to North Korea, as Tucker Carlson and Fox News are saying, I ask the question, why are we supporting these countries? Why are we in bed with Saudi Arabia? Why are we not encouraging Israel to, to come to some sort of a reconciliation with the Palestinians so they can end apartheid? Why, you know, why are, why, you know, why, why? Why are we supporting Duterte in, in murdering people just because they're drug users? Why are we supporting El Sisi, you know, military coup? Why, why are we supporting these, these anti-democratic movements around the world? I think, frankly, uh, Richard Engel said, you know, one of the reasons that uh, Kim in North Korea loves Donald Trump is because Trump has no moral, moral center, basically. Yeah, amen.